एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ लॉजिक सर्किट हैज बिन गिवन टू अस एंड वी हैव बीन आस्ट टू फाइंड द एक्स गेट नाउ एक्स गेट इज नॉट गिवन टू अस बट वी कैन सी दैट द टू टेबल ऑफ द आउटपुट इज बेसिकली नथिंग बट एन और ऑपरेशन दैट इज वी आर गेटिंग ए प्लस बी वे आर ए एंड बी आर अवर टू इनपुट्स नाउ If we have to write the expression for y, it will be a plus x. X, where x is the output of the combination of a bar and b. Now we know one identity where we have an expression like a plus a bar b, which is equal to a plus b. So we can safely say that. this particular x gate is nothing but giving us an operation of and so a plus a bar b will be equal to a plus b that is our final output y so the particular gate x in the diagram should be option c that is and gate mcq question number 18 in this question we have been given that a metal with body centered cubic structure shows the first diffraction peak at a brag angle of theta equals to 30 degree the wavelength of x ray used in this scenario is given to us that is 2.1 angstrom and we have been asked to calculate the volume of the primitive unit cell of the metal now we know that for bcc structure h plus k plus l that is the sum of the miller indices should be even for the first diffraction or first peak so if we have to consider that h plus k plus l is even we can assume that h equals to 1 k equals to 1 and l equals to 0 now lambda is given to us we can also find the interplanar distance that is small d it will come as a by root 2 so we can use bragg equation that is 2d sin theta equals to n lambda and put all the values and we can find the value of a that is h length of the bcc structure it will come as 2.1 into root 2 further because we have to find the volume of the cube we our answer will be a cube which will come as 26.19 angstrom cube so the correct answer will be option a mcq question number 20 in this question two observers a and b are moving along the sides of an equilateral triangle with equal speeds c by 2 where c is velocity of light as shown in figure in this question we have to find out the speed of b as measured by a so according to figure it is shown that there are two components of velocity of observer a and these are c by 2 sin 60 and c by 2 cos 60 the horizontal component c by 2 cos 60 is approaching to observer b and vertical component c by 2 sin 60 is just perpendicular to the direction of motion of observer b so the speed of b as measured by a along to x direction so by the special theory of relativity ux is equals to ux dash plus v divided by 1 plus ux dash v by c square that is equals to c by 2 cos 60 plus c by 2 divided by 1 plus c by 2 cos 60 into c by 2 divided by c square that implies ux equals to 3c by 4 divided by 1 plus 1 by 8 that is equals to 2c by 3 so the speed so sorry so the x component of speed of observer b as measured by a is 2c by 3 similarly the y component of speed of observer b as measured by a is uy equals to uy dash divided by gamma 1 plus ux dash v by c square that implies c by 2 sin 60 divided by 2 divided by root of 3 into 9 by 8 that is equals to c by 3 so the y component of speed of observer b as measured by a is c by 3 so the resultant velocity 
of b as measured by a is u x square plus u y square sorry square root of u x square plus u y square that is equals to square root of 5 into c divided by 3 option c is correct mcq question number 21 in this case the instantaneous electric and magnetic field created at a distance r by a point source at the origin is given to us the expression of e and h are in theta cap and phi cap direction and in these expressions omega e b are constants and the unit vector r theta and phi are used now we have been asked to calculate the time averaged power radiated by the source time averaged power radiated by the source is nothing but pointing vector into area because we know that pointing vector is nothing but energy per unit time per unit area or, or it can also be defined as power radiated per unit area now pointing vector can be calculated by just considering the expression s equals to e cross h if we start calculating e cross h we have been given the expression for e and h where e is a sin omega t upon 2 pi epsilon naught r and b that is the magnetic field is b sin omega t upon mu naught r now if we do e cross h operation on these two expression we will get e cross h equals to a b upon 2 pi epsilon naught r square mu naught into sine square omega t r cap because e is in theta cap direction and b is in phi cap direction so e cross h will be in r cap direction so the final expression of pointing vector that we will get will be a b upon 2 pi r square mu naught epsilon naught sine square omega t r cap or it can further be simplified to s equals to a b upon 4 pi r square mu naught epsilon naught we know that c that is the velocity of light is defined as 1 upon root of mu naught epsilon naught so we can replace that the value of c in pointing vector and we will get pointing vector s is equal to a b c square upon 4 pi r square now the time average power radiated by the source which we were asked to calculate in this question can be defined as p equals to pointing vector into area the area of the sphere will be considered as 4 pi r square so if we apply the operation p equals to s into a in this question we will get p equals to a b c square that is option c is the correct answer